All right, I haven't been here in a couple of days, but these blue beauties are now at day 66 without hatch. Oh, 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 never mind. I retract that statement. <gasps> oh, you're hatching. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry I missed your first. Oh my gosh, look at your little face. Oh, you have way too big of a head to be sticking out of that egg. How is the rest of your body going to be fitting in there? Hi, baby blue beauties. Oh, you made it out. Oh, oh, there's two that are out completely. There's a little face back there. Hi, babies. Welcome to the world. Oh, you're the first two out. You are so pretty. Are you going to be sassy like your parents and your other previous siblings are? Yeah, probably. Oh my gosh, are you curious? Doo -doo 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 -doo. You are adorable, oh my gosh. And you're just cuddling together like that. Let's see, who else do we have? Looks like that one hatched, that one's there. That one went bad, this was our emoji clutch if you remember. Oh look, the angry face pipped. I wonder if that's gonna be an extra salty baby in there. So, oh my goodness, oh poop emoji has pipped. Oh and I see a baby moving around in there. Oh, how about the love eyes? Oh, looks like that one has pipped. Have you? Oh, wow, you like sliced all the way through, right through the face. How about our friend down here? Oh, you're just smothering him. Well, you know, we're gonna give them a little bit of time. Are you the other one that hatched? Yes, that's the other one that hatched. So that one hatched, that one hatched. Waiting for the rest, they're starting to pip. Uh, I think I should probably cut these now since I wasn't here yesterday. And since they're already out, I bet they pipped yesterday and now they're actually coming out. So I'm just gonna quick cut these open just a little bit. Okay, that one's cut. Is there a baby? Oh, there's definitely a baby in there. Hard to see though, you can kind of see some scales. We will probably just be cutting these open today and not really peeking inside because I'm here by myself, or Ed's not here. Um, and it's difficult to do this with just one hand. So I'm just gonna cut openings and we'll come back tomorrow and see who all, who all has come out, but this will help them out in the meantime. All right, babies. Oh my gosh, they have been jammed in there. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guys. Yeah, I think they all came out and now they're all crammed together. Like, oh, we should have stayed in the eggs. Well, the reason why they're crammed is because we had like no space left in the old incubator. That's true. So we had to put them in something small. So, sorry guys, we'll get you guys, we'll get you out. <laughs> Oh, my oh no! Please, guys, I need some room. <laughs> He's just I ate my siblings. Squished on the side. <laughs> okay, well, this is gonna be like a jack in the box. Um, when we open it up, they're all gonna spring yes, out. We do have. We'll, we'll move this. Okay, we this have a bin. We have a bin here, so in case we need to move them. Yeah, because they might just go. Yeah, and then I, we have blue beauties everywhere. Yeah, once we open this, there's no way we're gonna be able to close it without taking them out. Nope. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's so many. Look this is at all the angry snakes. Oh my god, yeah, they're all staring at you. Hi, beautiful babies. <laughs> Look at all those tongue flicks. Oh my gosh. There's even a face right there. So there's a face down there. <laughs> there's a face right there. There's a face wedged. <laughs> there's three, four, five, six, seven. And there's one smooshed on the side, if I remember correctly. Oh, oh my there's god. the face. Oh, that Look is at all so the... many. So what I love, or one thing I love about this species is when they first hatch, they kind of have an olive green color to their scales, and then they turn blue as they age. So it's kind of an ontogenetic color change that they go through. And that's, I, I just think it's so pretty. And these two actually are kind of blue to begin with. So they're, are you I'm just gonna... you, just, you just poked them and you didn't do anything. Yeah, look, they're so nice. I'm... Well, why There's gonna be a seal break here and oh. we're gonna- Oh, I'm sure they're all- Nothing but sass. Yeah, this isn't gonna last forever. Are you gonna do your little tail rattles? Your tail wiggles? No? Nope. Maybe they're just like so comfortable being wedged in there. Yeah, why are you so friendly, guys? I mean, we'll take it. I guess we'll just set oh, up- Don't run away. We have one making a break okay, for it. I'll pick him up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here they come. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Here they come. They've got you. Oh, you're just- Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera back in the truck. Oh no! Oh no! Be too much. Look at how long they are! Oh yeah, no! Yeah, they're super long. Now they're starting to go everywhere! Ah! The seal has been broken! No, come back! Oh, oh my right, gosh. I'll set up. Uh, you wrangle. Uh, you wrangle on camera. How do I do this? And I'll no! try and set up. They're going everywhere! No, no. Come, come here! here. 
Guys, calm down. Calm down. Okay. It's okay. Right. Zen. Find calm. Nope. Come <laughs> here. Come here. Don't crawl off the table. Oh shoot. We should have had another another bin. Hurry! Here. Give them caves. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no. It's one off the cave. Okay. You go in here. You go in here. Go in the cave. Go in the cave. Okay. Don't come back out of the cave. Yes. Whew. All right. Um. Well. There's still some in there too. There are. <laughs> There's some buried. Oh, there's a face. Yeah. Look at that face. Look at that guy. He's just trying to hide yeah. from the others. He's like, I don't like my siblings. Yeah, there's too many of them. There's one down there. And there's one, I think still, yep, there's one over there. Oh, oh now they're coming oh, out. Oh, no. Okay. Wow, this whole whole thing of eggs just sticks together, doesn't it? Okay. Um, do and the last two babies. Three. Yes, three, two, one. Uh. Babies, nope, stay in, stay in, stay in. Go on in there while we get your baby bin ready. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. They are contained. Wow. How many were there? <laughs> I, yeah, I was not counting during that. We've got sheds all over the eggs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. Cool. Oh, Lucky wow. number. And all of them hatched, I think. Was that 13 that we just took out? Uh, probably. It, was. it seemed like it was uh, 80. All right, so this was one that we were filming earlier today. So we're gonna move everybody from this bin to this bin, because we need to set these three bins up with them in them. Yes. So we should have put all the babies in here. Yes. <laughs> but we didn't. We put them in the bins we have to use. Because we are smart. Yes. Okay, can we fit 13 baby blue beauties I, in here? I believe in us. Okay, oh should my we gosh. do it like this? Sure, actually. Right. Can I just grab a handful? Ugh, let me just handfuls of baby snakes. Oh, we should probably count. Okay, oh, yeah, two. two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Oh, we're getting a bunch of tail waggles in there. Nine, 10, 11, oh, 10, 11. Oh yeah, there's 12. 12 but 13 eggs. Do you think another one, d d could one dig? Or we could one jerk. have d dug into the perlite? Probably. Okay, we're missing a baby, guys. We're one shy. All right. Here are all the eggs. Either one didn't hatch, or one is buried under the perlite. So let's peek inside all these. Oh, that one didn't hatch. Oh, yep, yep. That's the egg that went bad. Okay, well, there we go. That'll okay, do it. So good. Okay, We're not so we missing have, one. That's all that matters. Yes, we have 11, 12. 12 babies. All right. And they're all in here. <laughs> we do have to oogle a little bit. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at them. They're so faded. Look at the tail waggles. Yeah, not even a tail rattle. It's a tail waggle. Yeah. Because the whole tail just blah, 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 blah. Yeah, <laughs> that's the sound it makes. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, I love it. You're just looking around too and you're, t oh, are we gonna get our first strike from this clutch? No, poke you guys, in the face. I don't wanna poke them in the face. <laughs> None of them have struck yet. That's true, it's kind of weird. Why are you so nice? I don't understand. All right, I think the plan for these adorable babies. Yeah, these super friendly uh, Vietnamese blue beauty snakes. Yeah. I feel like something's wrong with them because they're not trying to kill me right now. Maybe they're just shell-shocked. Maybe. Has the anger just not come out yet? I don't think it has. Aww, maybe not. Like, they're these are handleable blue beauties. That's yeah. just crazy. They'll They'll oh change. yeah, they certainly will. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we have a different type of baby bin because we ran out of the normal ones we use. So we have these three that are, they're ARS bins and they're bigger. So I think what we'll do is, how many babies do we have? We have 12? Yes. Yeah, 12 babies. We could do four Four, four, and four until we open up some of our other baby bins from selling bull snakes, and then we'll split them up a little bit more. So we'll do water dishes in each one. Oh, that fits really well. Yeah, it actually kind of did. Nice. The only problem with these bins is I'm not a huge fan of the water dish holder because it's hard to put substrate around it. But yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll take the sphagnum moss from the bin they're in and we'll just kind of wrap it around. And then they'll have a higher humidity that way anyway. So yep. that actually might work out pretty well. So we're gonna fill up the front half in your perspective because uh, that'll be the heated end. So we'll fill that up with some enrichment and some hides. All right, these babies are going in our overstock rack actually. Yep. And they're going right above some of the hogs that we bought from the St. Louis show, if I remember correctly, or the last Tinley that we're raising up. That's a Het Sunburst. We have this one. Here's the Exanthic Conda Het Albino, so Het Snow. They're doing really well. Just kind of raising them up in this rack. Yep. And they get to share the rack with Baby Blue Beauties now. Because the other baby rack is full. Yes. So we have these guys. We're gonna put the babies in. We have 12 split among three. Yeah, That's we can. Four in each. Oh yeah, I think these are big bins too oh, yeah. compared to the other bins. So yeah. I think four in here is not gonna be a problem at all. No. So there's one, two, three, go, oh, nope, nope, other way, other way, other way, and four. And oh, 
and four. four. Do you want to help that one shed? Oh yeah, you are shedding, aren't you? Hi, buddy. First shed. Wow, look how pretty he is. Oh, getting rid of that baby sheen. Oh, look at you shed. Oh, yes, inch your way out of it. You can do it. You can do it. Here, I'll help. Oh, you're a long snake. This is going to take a while. <laughs> 15 minutes later. <laughs> He's so squirmy. He doesn't want me to. Here, dude, you're going to feel so much better though afterwards. Yeah, look. Oh, look at your tail waggle. <laughs> you're not happy, are you? It's okay, dude. Look. Oh, so satisfying to watch though. I do love the tail rattle just in my hand. The tail waggle. Yeah. In my hands here. Not a rattle. Here we go. Almost there. First shit. Oh. the cloaca and it rips. Yeah, oh, it always, always rips at the cloaca. What in the world? All right, well, that's fun. Apparently, we have a tornado warning going yeah. on right now. Uh, always something exciting at Snake Discovery. Okay, little baby, let's get this last bit of your shed off. Oh, the oh. best part. Oh, look at that. And... Oh, and a tail <laughs> rattle to <laughs> end it. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful, freshly shed tail. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I love the way. I like how he's still wiggling his tail, but he's still not like attempting to bite no. or anything like that. I can't believe how nice they are. Yeah, just tail rattle or tail waggle and that's it. You are so yeah. pretty too. Oh, look at you. Okay, so this was the last this one, one for this bin. Okay. Yep. Hi, babies. Here, do you want to go in there? I'll add some branches and stuff for them too. They might yeah. like that. And I think what we'll do is we'll use the sphagnum moss that they were in to kind of cushion it here. Then we don't waste the sphagnum moss, and I think they'll appreciate it anyway. Oh, there was a mouth open. Oh, really? Yep, one mouth. One that mouth one? open. Are you going to be the one sassy one in this? Oh, oh there, there we it go. Is. First strike. Okay, so they <laughs> are actually blue beauties. They aren't some weird snake trying to impersonate a blue beauty by being nice. All right, lots of moss. Lots of moss for you babies. Perfect. Yeah, I think they'll like that. And that tornado alarm. Another tornado alarm. Stop it. I don't care. <laughs> We have babies to yeah, look we at. we have to film here. We don't have time for a tornado. There's baby snakes. Okay, uh, what are we gonna do next? Babies are in there. I think now we just go see mom and dad. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, look at that one. Look at them. Aww. That's going down. So that must be Juliet. She's always on her balcony. Yep. And there's Romeo. That must be Romeo over here. Out and about enjoying his vines. They, they use this whole enclosure. They they, it's crazy to just watch them like slither down that spine or up that vine and just all over the place. Ooh, we're getting tongue flicks. I, oh, tongue flicks. Well, hello, Missy. <laughs> you had some beautiful babies and they all but one hatched. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, good job, guys. There's also mushrooms growing in their enclosure. Is it really? Yeah, look at that. Oh. Yellow mushrooms, which in a bioactive enclosure is a really good thing, actually, yeah, if mushrooms can grow. Set. So that's pretty cool. Interesting. But yeah, we are loving the blue beauties in the zoo, and it's really cool that they feel comfortable enough to breed in their exhibit, too. In front of everybody? Right in front. Oh, they are not shy. No. Not at all. And mom is just, you bringing me food? Yeah, that's all she cares about right now. Is, the food. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have food for you right She's now. She's got like a purple tongue. She does. Uh, it's like purple on the sides and black on the top. She's a really pretty snake yeah. both of them are yeah the babies even though they'll be like an olive green right now they'll become more and more blue as they get older to the point where they look like the adults yep. here so super pretty snakes uh we're so excited to have bred them second again year. Second, second year in a row how cool is that uh yeah so we're just gonna feed the babies once they take enough meals we'll reach out to the waiting list find them new homes that's that so thank you guys for watching we're so excited for blue beauties yet again we've had an amazing year so far with babies as you're seeing and there are even more surprises to come so thank you again for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your very generous support. And we'll see you next time. Now let's go go home so we yeah, don't get hit by a tornado. Yeah, before the tornado hits us.